are you? Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? What's going on? What's going on over there? I'm very good, thank you. <laughs> good. You have gorgeous eyes. You get that all the time, right? Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and what's your name? My name is Ahmed. Ahmed, nice to meet you. And where are you from? I am from Iraq. Okay, cool. So I think you're the second person I've ever spoken to from Iraq. Mm -hmm. That's most very of, nice. Yeah, most of my students are from Saudi Arabia. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, I I, I know that uh, Saudi so uh, Saudi people uh, control uh, Camly because the, <laughs> most of them own Camly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. That's yeah. so cool. So uh, you've yeah. been on Camly for a while. Yeah, I think you are my 125 uh, call on Cambly. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> I I think I've had over a thousand thousand, one thousand chats. I just hit a thousand. Oh, congratulations to you! Thank you. You'll be, you you'll be a super a super tutor here on Cambly. Super tutor, super tutor. Yeah, I don't know. I I started like two months ago, and yeah. um. I love it. Wow. I love it. It, it. it saved me though, because I have a travel agency and with yeah. nobody traveling with coronavirus, it's like, well, what am I going to do now? You know? So I started teaching English and here we are. <clears throat> so uh, tell me what's the secret behind that you uh, got 1000 call that, that uh, I, I, I know that, uh, uh something special uh, with you as a tutor oh i don't i think we just have lots of students honestly <laughs> um i think i think for me it's like um i like to just chat um but yeah. i do i do do a lot of classes um i use a lot with um cambly has some classes but i like to have fun and i want to be sure that it's not boring for them and i don't want to be bored either you know, so nobody wants to be bored. <laughs> yeah, because um, uh, most of uh, the students on Cambly depends on uh, they prefer to uh, make uh, uh, like a conversations because they are uh, they are bored uh, from uh, studying uh, grammar rules and uh, yes, <laughs> and all these kind of uh, studying. Well, and plus, it's not just that. It's like they also don't have anybody to practice with. Like there's like in Iraq, I don't know if there's anybody you can practice English with. And even if there are, their English might not be proper English, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so because I, you guys, uh, sometimes uh, you uh, speak like uh, uh, in... <clears throat> in uh, uh, I mean, uh, when you spoke, you, you feel like uh, on your naturality, you're, you, are na uh, you're, you are natural when you, when you speak. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I agree. Yeah, I, um, I, have, I saw your notes. You sent me a, a message that you wanted to learn, like, um, common sayings or slangs, kind of, right? Isn't I, that what you... May, maybe Cambly uh, uh, like oh. suggest uh, this person, but, but it's okay. Uh, I prefer. Oh, I, yeah. I, I would no, like you were to, the. Uh, oh, okay. Because you were the first person. Some... Like, like it was usually it doesn't have a note, but you were the first person that I saw. It had a note at the bottom. It says, "I would like to learn um, English slang and sayings or something like that." But I've never seen those notes before. Uh huh. <clears throat> maybe, maybe, maybe Cambly, yeah, uh, in just uh, uh, one month ago, uh, I, uh, my, my tutors also uh, told me that uh, there is a, a note and uh, uh, here we go, this is your lesson today. I, so I told them, no, I, I'm not uh, uh, to pick uh, that topic. But maybe uh, there is a, si a system on Cambly make the, stu the students who uh, across a uh, 100 call, maybe, because when I uh, across uh, 100 call, uh, 
uh, Campbell start uh, uh, suggest me uh, like uh, these uh, topics. Oh, okay. Let me let me look. I'm gonna look at your profile really quick. So, how long have you been doing that? And what like what is your channel just about? Um, no, no, it's just English, about English. Or, what, like, and, or is it about many can, things? Like, see, what do you do? It's like uh, for uh, Calvary conversation. E yeah. Okay. I will write cool. It down to you. And what's the name of your page? I'll look it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Send it to me. So is there anything specific that you want to talk about today? Um, uh, you, to you told me that uh, Cambly suggest me, suggest me uh, a topic like I slang have... and uh, some, something uh, else. Yeah. It, so what I was going to go over with you was idioms. Because I saw your notes and I thought, oh, okay, I could go over idioms with him. Yeah, um, yeah. I think Cambly. If you want to, do you know what like idioms the social are? Social media. You know, nowadays when uh, when when you when you speak about something, uh, and uh, when you open like Instagram or uh, and oh, <laughs> uh, and oh yeah. just, uh, Today I uh, I was uh, thinking about uh, slang and idioms, and I told myself. Uh, when I will, when I will uh, learn uh, some idioms and uh, and uh, uh, slang uh, words, slang sentences, because I postpone these uh, uh, things. Yeah. <laughs> so I think Emily heard, uh, heard me. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's like I was talking about learning more Spanish. And then all of a sudden on my Facebook, it popped up and it said, oh, Whoa. learn more Spanish. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I was like, what? I was just talking about that. So, so yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, man. So this is the website. Um, it's up to you if you want to go over it. Uh, if you don't want to, that's okay, too. It's just idioms. And those are things that um, the reason I was going to go over it with you is that a lot of people yeah. were so focused on learning the actual words and the language. But like, for example, what happened was I was like this. <clears throat> and I said, sorry, I have a frog in my throat. And my student was like, you have a what in your throat? And I said, oh, I have a frog. And then I <laughs> took a drink. And she was like, what do you mean? Yeah. And I was like, oh, I mean, I don't literally have a frog. It's just... <laughs> That's a thing that we say like when this. we're like, <laughs> yeah, trying to clear. Yes. So there's sayings like, you know, break a leg or, yeah. um, you know, break a leg just means good luck. But even though it's like break a leg, like what does no, no, that mean? It's okay. So that's what I was going to go over with you. But if you have anything else learn, uh, that you uh, wanted today with you. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cool. So I'm I'm assuming you can't yeah, click out I'm then just because you want to keep the video can't, uh, up of uh, you. I assume, go right? From the video uh, to the page. Okay. So I'll just read a few, and we'll see we'll see how this goes. Because usually I like the student to read them. More so common. I'll pick a few that I think are um, that are good. So here. Yeah, hit more common. So here's one. Sack. It's called hit the sack. Hit, hit what? Hit the sack. Hit. Yep, I'm going to write it here. Hit the yeah. sack. So hit the sack. Uh -huh. It literally means go to bed. Go to bed. So like, let's say you're like, oh, I'm so tired today. It's been a rough day. I just got to hit the sack. It's like, it's like. It's go, very, go very sleep, commonly go, used. Go Yeah. It literally means I'm going to bed. Like you say, I'm going to hit the sack. Like if I were to tell you after this call, uh -huh. I'm going to yeah. hit the sack. I mean, hit it means sack. I'm going to bed. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's hit the sack. I'm going to hit the sack. Um, this is a good one. It's called speak of the devil. It says speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. 
Speak um, of the devil. Yeah. This is the devil. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you have any idea what that means? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> let me think. Do, do you have any idea? <laughs> speak with the devil. <laughs> Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Speak of the devil means um, it literally means when you're talking about somebody and then all of a sudden somebody else walks in and you're like, oh, I was just talking about you. Like, let's say we were talking about your girlfriend or your mom or your dad uh -huh. and that person that we're speaking of walks in and we're like, oh, speak yeah, of the devil, yeah, yeah, I got you. meaning I got we you. were just talking about you. Yeah, and yep. uh, it's it's coming um, that here one's in my really kitchen, really common. So I, will, I will use it. <laughs> I think. Yeah, speak of the devil. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. And then, speak of the devil. It's like speak of the devil, or like when you're talking speak and somebody calls you, and you're like, "Oh, look who's calling!" Speak of the devil yeah. just means that you're. Yeah, it means that you're talking about them. And then I'll do one more, and then I actually have a call. I think I have a reservation calling. Hold on. I'm just double-checking that it's a reservation. Because sometimes I get calls that are not reservations. Yeah, it's a reservation. Oh, they're just now calling at 420. I'm going to have to. Okay. So, um, yeah, they're calling 20 minutes late. So we'll go ahead and finish. So this one is very common as well. It's called under, under the weather. The weather. Under weather. the weather. Yeah. Under the what? Under the weather. Uh, no. Have you ever heard that one before? Okay. Yeah. So that one is like you're sick. Like if somebody calls you today and they're like, "Why aren't you uh -huh. at work?" And you're like, oh, about, I'm feeling is this, is this under the, the weather. Sickness? When, I, when I'm sick, I feel I am under the weather. Do you get that one? The weather? Uh-huh. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, let's say I'm like, I'm like hey, weather. why aren't you at work today? Mm -hmm. And you? <laughs> yes, I'm under the weather today. It just means you're sick. Um... Let's see. There's so many. Like, yeah, I sent yeah, you the I link, see. and if you want to, you can study the link afterwards. Um, yeah, it's a good, it's a good, uh, here's another one. Barking up the wrong tree. Yeah. I'm going to send you this one. Barking up. Barking the up the wrong tree. tree. No, Have you I ever heard of that? Uh, uh, study any uh, idioms. Oh man, you're okay. You're looking, you're this is so. This is this kind of sayings will really make you seem more fluent because these are very common phrases that we use all the time. Like, I have a frog in my throat, right? I have a frog, yeah. Th this is this in is the port my port. throat, um, but bark, yeah, but barking up the wrong tree that literally means. You're, you're going to the, a place that's not the right solution. So let's say you're like, Trisha, teach me Arabic. And I'm yeah. like, you're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know Arabic. So it just means you're going to someone or something that's not the right fit. Does that make sense? Um, I'm trying to think. It says, it, the literal meaning, it says, to be mistaken, mm -hmm. to be looking for a solution yeah, in yeah, the wrong place. You. So, can you think? Barking up. Think of an example? Yeah. Like, what could, the wrong tree. What could I ask you to do what that can you ask, can't do? Can you ask me? that you cannot do. Uh, uh -huh. Like, can you, yeah, could yeah, you yeah. teach me Chinese? Let's say we're talking about language. Uh -huh. Can you teach me how and you I say, talk? I say, hey, Ahmed, can you teach me Chinese? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Can you teach me how to fly? Barking up and you say, thing. and you say, 
Uh-huh. Yeah, you can say you're All barking right. up the wrong tree. Uh, I don't know how to fly. Uh, if, uh, if I uh, you're barking. If I tell you that, uh, it's like it's like uh, uh, joking. So can you uh, uh, answer me? Like, are you kidding? Is the same. Yeah, and you can you can also do. It can be like a joke too. Like somebody's like. Like, um, like, hey, will you help me do the dishes? Uh-huh. And you're like, you're barking up the wrong tree. I'm not gonna do the dishes. Like, it's something that it's yeah, something yeah, that you yeah, don't yeah. want to do, or something that you don't know how to do. Like, oh, you're barking up the wrong tree. So, uh, I mean, literally, it's like something that yeah. you don't want to do. You can't do something of that matter. That is very that all of these are uh-huh. very very common, and it's funny. For me, so reading always, them because I'm like, oh yeah, always, there's another one. Use, uh, this Do you have any in your in your regular time? I mean, I would say uh-huh. I would say I, I use hit the sack, speak of the devil, um, frog in my throat. Yeah. Under the weather, I don't use very much because I'm not sick often. But it just kind of depends on the things that you use. What um, what kind of sayings do you like, have uh, in Arabic? Uh, speak of the devil. Uh, we use it. We use it. We use it uh, you know? uh, here just like uh, normal. Oh, okay. Uh, we always uh, use it. Speak of the devil. So <laughs> do. Yeah. How do you say it in Arabic? <laughs> <laughs> say it again. <laughs> I go, Ibn Halal of Dikra. Is it weird saying it? A <laughs> <laughs> hamlak? Ham, how do you say it? We say, uh, we say it, we say it in, uh, I, I, say, I say it like uh, in uh, my slang language. Ibn Halal of Dikra. Like Ibn Halal. Ibn Habla? Uh, so uh, have you noticed sometimes in the restaurant uh, there is a there is a beef uh, uh, wrought on the beef halal? Oh yeah, it's in New same. York. Yeah, we have. I've had halal Ibn food halal, a lot. Son of halal. Son. Oh. <laughs> The son no. of halal is in your the devil? Language, in your language, devil. There is no devil. I'm like, what? In my language. Yeah, but, but it, it, it's the same meaning. Ah. Uh, oh, you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, and suddenly okay. They, so you were uh, just talking about uh, them. How can you... And suddenly uh, they uh, showed up? Yes, and suddenly they show up, and or they call. Like it could be a call. Like we're talking about yeah. your mom, and so then your mom like calls, idiom. and you're like, "Oh, <laughs> speak of the devil." Yeah. Yeah. No idioms are good. I mean, they're yeah. they're really helpful to help you know the language better, and um, and to really a lot of them are very cultural, like like yours, like with the halal. A lot of them are very cultural. Like we have one in Spanish that's, um, it's a funny one, but it's like when a guy, okay, it's literally, <laughs> a que hora sales por el pan? Oh. Which it's like, what time are you going for the bread? Because what time were you going for the bread means back in the day, the only time the women would leave the house to um, get bread was um, or the only time they would leave the house was to get bread. So it was the only time like the boyfriend or the one that liked the girl could go meet up with them. So now they use it today as like hitting on the girls like, hey, what time are you going for the bread? Like you want to meet Can up with her. Down to me? So it's very cultural. What, what, what time? No, no of course yes. in English. Well, in Spanish or English, <laughs> what time are you going well, I don't know because uh, it's actually in Spanish. For the bread. It says, what time are you going for the bread? Because, again, yeah, for the bread. So women would only go for the bread or tortillas. And every time, like the young women, because they would say, hey, honey, go for the bread. 
So they would go to get the bread and it was the only time they were away from home. So the, the boyfriend or somebody could meet up with them. Yeah. So you'll realize a lot of idioms have to do very yeah. cultural and, or uh, even regionally. I think uh, the idioms sometimes it's, uh, it comes uh, uh, equally in, uh, every, uh, in each uh, country. I think so. Yeah. Like I had a student of mine, she speaks Arabic and she was like, I can't think of any Arabic idioms. And I was like, oh, I'm yeah, sure you or, have uh, them. You just don't, don't remember. She uh, don't uh, recognize uh, uh, the idioms in uh, her life. Like she use it, but uh, she, she, don't, she don't know about uh, the idioms. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that's true too. It could be it could be very well that way. So, well, cool. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me today. Yeah. We only have um, a minute and a half, but I hope you're doing well with your page. Yeah, I thank hope you people so appreciate much. these idioms today. Yeah, yeah, good. Well, I'm glad you're doing well. Keep practicing English, and I hope your um, your followers enjoy the idioms today. And what what was your favorite <laughs> idiom? Yeah, well, I think I know. The yeah, I like it because it's very common here. Yeah. In, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. And again, like under the weather, barking up the wrong tree is kind of funny as well. So they're all good stuff. But nice to meet you. And um, as always, don't forget to rate me. And if you want, you can mention me in the in the post um, so people can find me as a teacher too. So how can I uh, mention to as you? As my Trish advisor. Um, you can mention, because my, my screen name is yeah, on yeah, 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 yeah. the post I, here, so will, they can search will, for me in Cambly. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Huh. Bye. Bye. Have a good day.